your thought on, on Magma stepping down and particularly how it might flavor this game? Do you anticipate them being pretty charged up? To I'm sure they will be. Uh, just to, to, for their purposes, send him out uh, the right way. And obviously, like like I said la last week, he's I mean he's he's an icon. He uh, he deserves to go out on his own terms, and hopefully hopefully he has. And yeah, I'm sure they'll be sure they'll be fired up. You want you guys to your guys to have plenty of motivation themselves. Do you mention that to them as hey to your guys that hey they're going to be they might be trying to win one for the keeper here. Well, I think they, I think they know that. You know, I mean, we've we've talked certainly, but just about the we'll get ready for some crowd noise and from that that st aspect of the the proximity to Austin, it'll, it'll be a it'll be a home game in, in essence, and so we have to kind of have those those mechanics ready to go. But we know we're going to get their best shot, and and we need to be fired up to play our game. Mark, you might already said this, but as far as with Mac, is this one of those things that's it's out of your control? Does it affect? what Oregon does in preparation for the game? It won't affect what, what we do necessarily from a preparation standpoint other than, you know, pay homage to a guy that's that's done so much for college football and, and honor and respect everything that, that, that he's accomplished. Can you say a few words about this guy behind us? I know we've talked about Gary Campbell throughout oh. this year, but just... <laughs> very, very few. If you no. want to compliment, that's fine. I guess longer than anybody. What's that mean to the program, the continuity of this organization? He's been awesome, and I think he's indicative of, of, of several guys around here and several people not only on the staff but behind the scenes, whether it's Rad or some of our staff members. that, that have, They could have been a, many different places in their careers, maybe made a little bit more money, made, you know, maybe had a little bit more uh, level of quote-unquote success, but he's just been rock solid. And, and is a is a father figure, is a grandfather figure, uh, and just a, a great influence for, for all these guys to be around. How much of this kind of bull practice period is like you know, preparing for Texas, but also it's almost like a fall camp where you look at the young guys yep. quite a bit. Yep. How much are you looking at those young guys? That's what we've done basically these th these three practices and, and then last weekend the two practices we had, everybody's in. And so we try to get a ton of of fundamental work. Blocking, tackling, special teams, staying in shape, some things that can slip as, as, as bull preparation takes its different forms based on finals or whatever. Uh, but our guys, our guys have done a good job of just working. Uh, and now tomorrow will be for them, we'll just have a meeting and have an off day physically. And then we'll get back going all directed toward Texas game plan on Tuesday. Are there any positions you kind of are keen at looking at, especially for the, the guys who will be replacing lost starters next year? Not really looking at from that, that aspect yet. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're still, you know, everything is is still directed at, at Texas preparation for the most part. I mean, we're trying these last five practices, we just want to be better football players. How good is Jeff Coat? Jeff who? Jeff Coat for them. Sorry, I, couldn't, I, yeah. I thought you were saying Jeff Hope. <laughs> he's, he's really good. He is really good. He is, uh, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that's really big, but... Uh, can can he's elusive as well while still being powerful you know i think that's what makes him special is is he can he can bend around blocks sink his hips and still still be powerful take on a fullback and make the play uh, but he can still get on an edge and, and speed rush with the the best of them that's fast as far um i don't know i mean they're 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 different you know jeff goes bigger um uh, yeah i i think you know those big guys when they have the ability to to run through you as well as run around you they're those guys are even harder to prepare for because you have to you have to be ready for both those things with bar you know it's more of a be, be in position and be ready be ready for the the edge you know rush some way or the other whether it's inside or outside what type of year do you think johnson yeah. yeah. good um i think he's a guy that can get can play a lot better i think at times he was our our best guy um at others you know, just experience for him, for the most part, of, of trusting himself in, in a lot of situations where he's he's in the right spot or uh, maybe in the right spot and just high or whatever. You know, he's a guy that needs to play technically really sound against against a guy like Jeff Coat because maybe he doesn't you know he doesn't weigh 330 pounds and some of these guys some of these guys do. But he's been he's been, yeah at times he's been our best lineman. How much have you talked to him about his weight? In adding weight? That's that's kind of been a constant battle with him. You know, he's all he was. A, you know, an undersized guy, relatively speaking, coming in and trying to, to keep weight on has been a has been a battle. But that's something this this off season we're gonna try again to to have a, another plan for that. What do you do? Just lock him in there in the, in the food room or what? <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Just go <laughs> Twinkies. Be, yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> 
what do you do? I mean, how do you do that? Do you it's di- develop you know, a plan for them? Or? Yeah, I mean, you try to find the the type of food that you know that that he hangs on to. You know, some of these guys they burn they burn so many calories from whatever it is, lifting or or practice or you know whatever it is, and you manage those things because you still need to they need to be in great shape and be bigger and, and stronger. Um, but we, yeah, some of these guys, it's, yeah, it's constant battle for some guys. I want that problem. Right, man. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This is me off. <laughs> it seems like the NFL decisions are largely based on family and personal decisions and also the, the NFL evaluations that come back. But how much do you involve yourself in some of those decisions, too? Um, uh, it depends. You know, it depends on the guy. And I think that's the thing about it is every situation is unique. Um, uh, you know, we've had a couple guys already come out with their decisions without knowing, you know, really 100% what their what their projection was. Um, and you just sit down. I, and the way I, I've told you know, I, I look at it as reverse recruiting. He, you know, it's he, here's and it's kind of how we recruit. You know, here's here's our deal. And do you want to be a part of it or not? It's not you know a sales thing. For for this, it's all right. Here's what they're saying. Here's you know here's here's the information we have between the the NFL. Uh, committee that they've 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 done a great job of, of being better they're a lot more accurate than they used to be um, and so you can really just here it is you know it's it's a very for the most part a very accurate thing and then between contacts that we may have try to get a little bit more insight of, of you know hey this team you know thinks exactly this 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 and this and, and just try to be very upfront with them and and it's it's different with each like you said it could be a family situation Lots, lots of things going to it. What kind of sense do you got? Since we already know, obviously, that Marcus and Bruce are going to land in Los Angeles in like 72 degrees. Scouts that come to practice. What have they said to you for this season? Varied. You know, high, highly varied. Um, uh, you know, hopefully in the next couple of days we'll get that that stuff back and we can sit down and and really have a a realistic conversation um, about that. And and that's that's what they've said. You know, is is they want to look at they want to get what the NFL says and then. Yeah. Sit down well, and talk about it. So that's well, that's what we'll do. It's, it's What's your role here. in that? Then are you a facilitator? Or Switzerland. Or yeah. okay. Kind of. I mean, I, I really look at it that way. Because if it's a guy, if it's a guy that that you know, I, at a certain position that that can't increase his 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 stock, so to speak, and you know, his family's in a situation where they really need the money. That's not you know that's not an argument. You know, you don't want to you don't want to twist their arm. For what you wouldn't do for your son, if you were, you know, if you were that guy's mentor or father or whatever it is, and and you try to, you try to sit in their shoes a little bit and, and, and help them make the, you know, make the best decision. Speaking of pro evaluations, did you know that Eric is trying out for the Arena Football League? I like it as a kicker. Is there going to be a camera on hand? I think so. Nice, yeah. nice. Now he was hoping he could get a little access to some kicking. Uh, Gonna I'd love to see that? it. Yeah. Do you get, what do they kick into? How wide is that thing? It's well, this wide. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it looks like the eye of a needle. Uh, we, we definitely need the footage. Since, uh, 2005, so it's been a little while. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> I touched a two-hand touch game a couple weeks ago. 